everyone, and welcome back to Liz Sews and the next installment in my Bra Making 101 series. In past episodes, we looked at bra terminology, bra styles, bra patterns, and where to buy bra supplies. Now we can start getting into the fun stuff and look at fabrics. I've broken up fabrics into three separate videos. Today's video will focus on stable fabrics. The next video will focus on stretch, and the final one will focus on sheer or lining fabrics. So let's get into it. So I know it can be kind of tricky when you're first starting out into bra making because the fabrics that we work with aren't necessarily ones that you are used to working with in garment sewing. If you're just starting out on your first bra, I would highly recommend to use the fabric choice that the pattern designer recommends. So typically when you're looking through your pattern, it'll have a list of different materials and it'll say something like, stable knit for cups. Certainly, as you progress further into bra making, you don't have to follow by those rules. But in the very, very beginning, I think that it is just a good rule of thumb to follow what the designer says. And then once you start learning the different tips and tricks, you can sort of manage those fabrics differently. A lot of times what you're gonna see for the cups, the bridge, and the frame is gonna say a stable knit. So what is a stable knit? So in garment sewing, you may be familiar with the term knit, and generally it refers to something like a ponte or a jersey or something like that. But we also use stable knits very frequently in bra sewing. So a stable knit is a little bit different than those jerseys or pontes and stuff like that in that it hardly stretches at all. So the first fabric we're gonna talk about is simplex. I personally don't use Simplex very often, so I'm afraid I don't have an example, but I can pop up a picture over here of what Simplex looks like. You can see by the photo that Simplex is a very soft fabric. It forms very soft mounds and peaks in it, which means it's gonna feel really soft against your skin. Simplex has a four-way stretch, that is that it stretches both horizontal direction and vertical directions, but that stretch is very minimal. It's about 5% and it's gonna snap back really easily. So Simplex is a great option if you find some of these other more sturdier fabrics to be a little bit irritating against your skin. Next fabric I wanna talk about is Duoplex. So Duoplex is the fabric that I use most frequently in my bra making. So Duoplex fabric is under the Trico family. So it's a Trico style of knit whereas Simplex was its own style of knit. This is a Trico, so that's why it's different. It's just the threads form a different shape and it's a different machine that makes it. So Duoplex is a Trico. Uh, it is quite sturdy and firm. That is that it doesn't have a ton of drape. You can see as I hold this up here, it sort of sticks out a little bit. It does have some structure to the fabric. It has a mechanical stretch, but only in one direction. So in this case, the mechanical stretch is going horizontally. So if I stretch this, we get about 5% horizontal stretch. You can see it's moving out just a little bit. But if I stretch it this way, I get hardly any stretch at all. Duoplex typically has two sides that you can use. So this is the shiny side, but you can also choose to use the matte side if you want. Either side is usable in the way that it is knitted together. One of the great things about Duoplex is that you don't need to line your bras. It is so stable and sturdy and firm that you can leave out the lining altogether. Here is an example of a bra that I've made with Duoplex. This is the Emerald Erin Black Beauty Bra, uh, and this is a kit that she sells with Duoplex, which I believe is still available in her shop. So here's the outside of the bra. And then on the inside of the bra, you can see that I haven't lined it at all. I have just the fabric, that is a single layer in the cups, the frame, and the bridge. This does mean, however, that you're going to get exposed seam allowances. So that is seam allowances that stick out, but because it's a knit fabric, it doesn't unravel at all. You don't really have to worry about it. The only issue would be is if you personally are sensitive to having seam allowances like that, you can always line Duoplex, but it's not required because it has enough stability on its own. So that means, I think it's a good fabric to start out with in bra sewing because you don't have to line it. It gets rid of that additional step in your bra making process and you can get to trying it on a little bit sooner. So Duoplex comes in a wide range of colors and from uh, numerous different shops. So it's, it's pretty widely available in terms of fabric is considered. Now a couple of downsides with Duoplex. 
as I showed you when I, I held this up, it is quite a rigid, firm fabric, which means it's a little bit thicker. It is made out of 100% polyester, and it can be a little bit hot, especially in those summer months. It doesn't breathe particularly well. So I tend to relegate my duoplex bras to the much cooler months in fall and winter and stuff like that, just because of the nature of the fabric. If you like the behavior of duoplex, but you want something a little bit thinner, I could recommend lingerie satin. So this is a bra that I made recently using lingerie satin. It has those same properties of duoplex, meaning that it stretches just in the horizontal direction and not the vertical. It has about 5% of that mechanical stretch, but it is a little bit thinner of a material. It moves a little bit nicer. So in this one, I've put it over a foam cup and you can see I've, I've smoothed it out really nicely um, and it has just a little bit more drape and give to it. So that's uh, another option if you like the firm stability of Duoplex but you want something that's a little bit lighter weight. If you want to go even more lighter weight I could recommend Micro Duoplex. So Micro Duoplex to my knowledge is only really sold by bra builders uh, and it's a very nice lightweight fabric uh, with the same stability and firm nature of Duoplex. So in this bra you can see I also have not lined it. This is just one layer of fabric uh, but it doesn't stretch, it's really firm, it gives you nice round support. If you're looking at Micro Duoplex fabric, here's a cut that I have right here, you can see that it has a much softer drape, a softer hand, when you compare it to the Duoplex, which stands out a little bit firmer. So this one is lighter in weight just in terms of thickness, but also feels a lot nicer and silkier against the body. Uh, if I had to describe it, I'd say it's sort of like peach skin. It's really, really pleasant. I, I really like using this. However, I will say that this is a little bit more advanced of a material to sew. So if you're using Micro Duoplex, definitely pay attention to your needles. Uh, I like to use a Microtex needle, specifically the 8012. However, it's really machine dependent. So I can't necessarily tell you exactly what needle to use. You're gonna to need to try a bunch of different ones to see which one's gonna work best with this fabric. And the reason it's sort of difficult to find the right needle is just that it's, this fabric is really sturdy and firm and so it makes it really hard to get that needle punctured through it. So it can sort of mess up the timing of your machine. So look at different needles if you're having issues getting pretty stitches with this. I would also recommend looking at a nicer, finer thread. I like to use the So Fine thread. It's a really smooth, soft polyester type thread, but it seems to work a little bit better. And the third thing that you can do is increase your stitch length if you're getting a little wonky stitches. But Micro Duoplex is a really nice alternative. So Duoplex is going to be the firmest, sort of sticky, outy structured of the fabric. Next up, I have this Duoplex Simplex. This one I'd say is the middle ground, and this one's gonna be very similar to lingerie satin. And then the most drapey of these Duoplex fabrics is gonna be the Micro Duoplex. So Micro Duoplex is the softest, drapiest. Middle ground is Simplex Duoplex or lingerie satin. And then the rigid, most rigid is going to be Duoplex. Now that we've looked at all these different types of stable knits, you're probably wondering why can't I just use a stable woven fabric, like quilting cotton, for instance. Now, as I had mentioned previously, you are certainly able to move into other fabrics, but when you first start out, I would recommend using the fabrics that are recommended by the pattern designer, and most often it's going to say stable knits. So the reason that stable knits are really nice for bras is that even though they are stable, that is they don't really stretch out very much, they are a knit fabric, which means they have a sort of rounder appearance on the body. When you're working with a fabric that's woven, like a quilting cotton, you have threads running horizontally, horizontally and vertically. And we know that you get quite about a stretch on the bias of the cut, but on those straight of grains and cross grains, you don't get very much stretch at all. So when you put it into a bra or put it onto yourself, which is a very contoured, curved shape, what you end up getting is flat spots flat spots where you're pulling on the warp or the weft of the threads. And a knit fabric, even though it's stable, will conform to your body a little bit nicer and give you a much rounder, softer appearance. So that's one reason why I would always recommend stable knits over a woven fabric like a quilting cotton. 
The second reason is just for the logistical reasons. So when we're sewing bras, we typically use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So that's quite tiny. It's much smaller than the 5 eighths in most garment sewing. And when you use woven fabrics, you're much more likely to get tension on those seams and those seams to just pull apart and fray. When I first started, I made a bra out of like a woven stretch satin and the bra was absolutely gorgeous. And I think I got maybe five wears out of it before my seams started just shredding apart into nothing. So that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't recommend necessarily a woven fabric for bra making. I hope you found this information useful and come back next time where we start looking at stretch fabrics used in bra making. See you next time.